Hi everyone, I am Sai Kiran. I am an Associate Technical Lead in TGH Software Solutions. Today we are going to discuss about Boomi AI agents. Without further ado, let's dive into the topic. So what are AI agents? So we are talking about AI revolution and AI evolution in, in these years mostly after we got the chat GPT and other generative AI tools, which are giving us the answers with a simple prompt. And it is all some, some of the AI agents have already trained on a specific data sets. From them, they are going to generate your data or they're going to write some articles or provide you with the, some information. In even the big companies which are uh, connecting these AI models to the internet. So it is scrapping through the internet and giving you the information. Then what is this AI agents? <clears throat> AI agents are like the next step of this AI evolution where these are autonomously take decisions and come up with a solution for your uh, problem. So these AI agents just need a simple prompt Based on this prompt, it will use the data and it will use the different tools and other AI agents as well to achieve the goal. Unlike this generative AI, mostly focus on creating a content and providing with some assistance in getting the knowledge or giving you some uh, repetitive tasks, right? Like we can also automate some repetitive tasks like email writing. Those things can be done with the generative AI, but when it comes to AI agents, they proactively perform actions by taking a simple input. So one of the example we can say, optimize my sales strategy. That can be, let's say if anyone built an AI agents that will optimize their sales strategy. So with the help of the data, existing data in the business, the AI agent will understand the bottlenecks and try to come up with a strategy in it. So, the AI agents are most proactively in nature, but when it comes to generative AI, it needs human intervention, it needs human feedback throughout the uh, decision making. But AI agents have their own reasoning capability to come up with the solutions during their uh, solving this, this particular task. Let's uh, jump into the next slide and see what we have with AI agents and AI assistance comparison. But when it comes to the first aspect, human interaction. So these AI assistants are more reactive in nature, means human needs to give a prompt, then only it will give you some response. Let's say if you want to modify that uh, result, right? So again, the human needs to find you it and give more prompts. So it will understand what uh, whatever the human needs and based on that, it will respond to that command. But AI agents are mostly proactive in nature. So if I give a prompt to, I need a Java code that can help me to create an API to consume the data from a Salesforce. Then the AI agent will create complete Java code and try to install the libraries from the Maven and try to build the other error handling process on it. And based on that, it will complete the code and build an application, a jar file on it. So we can use it just by providing the Salesforce credentials and our any logging or disk uh, logging database for it. So based on that, it will complete this process and give you an output. So AI agents will break the tasks and each one of them will be processed individually. Let's say if there is some dependent tasks, only the dependent tasks will be completed first, then the other tasks will be performed. So when it comes to the workflow of the AI assistants, these are uh, designed to perform routine tasks which are boring, like uh, scheduling the appointments and giving you answer to certain questions and understanding what's going on. Those kind of things can be taken care of with the help of AI assistants. These are like virtual assistants. When it comes to AI agents, these are specifically designed tools to achieve a certain objective. 
so an ai agent can help you to uh, broadcast your marketing channels like sending or trying to identify marketing trends from various tools which are offered by some other companies like right? like google also have google trends to identify what's the trending topic or trending keywords for a specific youtube channel those kind of things can be achieved with the help of ai agents so how the fine tuning happens so whenever there is an ai agent so the fine tuning for an ai agents will be like feedback whenever we it give you some output based on certain prompt if we provide a feedback that uh, this data is accurate or this has some issues in the data those kind of things will be taken care with the help of feedback and it will give you better in info next time and it also has persistent capability and it will identify the gaps in its own process to achieve a certain objective and try to come up with a work around for it when it comes to ai assistance uh, they are they will be improved and fine tuned based on the user input only so it will try to understand what user is exactly saying how he is able to form the sentence what is his intention behind writing a sentence those things will be understandable by the assistance and based on that it will give you some outputs so when it comes to the business use so we already talked about the ai assistants will mostly take up the boring tasks like customer assistance code generation and virtual assistants but ai agents will take up more like in high level tasks like uh, automatic trading so automatic trading examples it may not give you 100% result right so that, uh, there are certain algorithmic strategies which are already in place but this uh, ai agents can help you to minimize the error in the code also like while trading taking the trading doesn't have certain amount of liquidity in the stock or the sales data is not good or it is being manipulated with the help of market data right so if there is a more news that this uh, that particular stock can have more volatility it can go up more or it can go down in a bearish direction more and network monitoring so in uh, data centers or in any other ci cd implementation works we need to monitor the networks to solve the use cases or there those kind of uh, business use cases ai agents help you more let's talk about the bumi ai agents bumi have released six different ai agents so far and or there bumi gpt is the one which will orchestrate all other bumi agents so bumi gpt will take uh, user input in a natural language so if we in just like we are interacting with the chat gpt and asking it for some prompts or if we are interacting with gemini which is an ai uh, generated gpt from google so if you ask some prompts to it i mean if you ask some questions it will give us some response right so the bumi gpt is in age ai agent provided by bumi which will orchestrate other ai agents to give you the output so we will also look into the demo in this video and when it comes to design gen so this ai agents sole work is to create or edit the integrations based on the prompts which is given by the bumi gpt right and it can help you to uh, optimize and more improve the productivity in the project and this pathfinder agent will recommend you the better steps when you are building a process in the build time when it comes to bumi data detective it which is an ai agent can help you to identify your data how where it is going with when it comes to bumi atom cloud so that will be uh, hosted in different different areas right i mean geographic regions or there the data may flow from one place to another let's say if you are interacting with the trading partners they, they may have the logistics information or some there's some information that can flow through entire uh, data centers so we can also look into them to identify the traces of our data where it is going with the help of bumi data detective 
So Boom Scribe is also available in the build tab and it will give you the documentation of the process and it will give you more of a business understanding what the process is going to. So it will analyze the process and the connectors and the operations which are involved in it. Based on that, it will try to come up with a documentation of the process. And the most uh, helpful part here is the Boomi Answers, so which is a very uh, good AI agent which can help you to scrap through this entire Boomi documentation and Boomi community articles. And it will provide you with the answers and a, pro a better explanation, I mean a generative AI explanation. And it will also include some links from where it is getting referred. Based on that, our developers or who are learning in the learning path, right? They can get, uh, they can improve their learning much faster and they don't need to search through all the internet to uh, in the Google or in any other search engine to identify better articles for them. Now let's uh, jump into the boom. So if you see here, we have Boomi AI icon. So this is the platform which we have in Boomi. If you click on the AI icon, it will navigate to this Boomi AI. So this is what Boomi GPT. So here they have given multiple prompts. Just for your examples. So here, if you see, let's type create and let's use the first form Salesforce to NetSuit and understand what we have. So it did suggest uh, the Boomi GPT is suggesting us certain options, which is powered by Boomi Design Gen. So which is saying account to customer, contact to contact, opportunity to sales order. Let's choose opportunity to the sales order. So it is saying it found some existing connections. So do you want to use them or trading an existing? So we can choose. So as of now, uh, I'm choosing to create new connections. See, it is providing us with the, some process with Salesforce map and Oracle. So if it is, uh, looks good, right? We can go for profile mapping. We can take a look of the process and we can also generate the process documentation also. So this process documentation will be generated with the help of Boomi Scribe, which is uh, an AI agent, which will be called by the Boomi GPT. You can see Boomi Scribe here. We can also download this documentation for our reference, or we can also include in our technical specification documentation. Okay, let's jump into the other one. So maybe we can ask, uh, explain me about bridge mode. See, it is providing us with the explanation along with the articles related to that. So, which is given by the Boomi Answers AI agent. 
so this is what any AI agents will how they will work and we can also go and see what else we have right so some of the AI agents will be enabled by default and reminding AI, AI agents we need to contract to the Boomi sales team and we need to ask them to enable those as well Now, if you click on this AI agent garden, so it will be routing to this AI agent garden. Most all these five AIs are pre-installed, but Boomi Data Detective, we need to reach out to Boomi team to get the access. I hope you understand about the AI agents. To get more information about Boomi AI and other information, Please subscribe to Techie Geek Hub YouTube channel. Thank you.